Oh, shit. What's the problem? Need me to hold your hand? No, this just isn't the terrain I envisioned when you said we're going to the beach. Otherwise, I'd have brought real shoes. Besides, aren't I the one here to hold your hand? Gotta have me a wing woman. And it gets you out of the apartment, doesn't it? Between the apartment and a beach full of drunk douchebags? I'll take the apartment. Wow. Judgy much? The dude you're all soggy over is named Court. Court! 95% chance he's a douchebag, and then all of his bros, at best. They're douchebags too, just by association. <sighs> then don't talk to them. Just sit by yourself. You're good at that. And enjoy the free beer. Think they'll have milk stout? Christ, Kara, it's a fucking beach party. They're gonna have cheap shit that tastes the same going in as it does coming out. But like I said, it's free. Look, I just want to stay long enough to get the hooks in, if you know what I mean. Then we'll leave, that's it. In the meantime, try to keep an open mind. You might actually have a good time. Maybe even meet someone as interesting as you. Interesting? Bitch. So that was pretty much the end for me as far as baseball was concerned. I mean, Doc gave me like a 10% chance that it would eventually heal enough for me to play again. And, uh, well, put it this way. My six-year-old nephew could only throw a ball 20 feet. And he had a better chance of getting recruited than I did. <laughs> but it all worked out in the end. You know, I love the game and all, but I know I'll be happier working in the family business. Not to mention taking it over after my dad retires. What did you say you were studying again? Extraterrestrial botany. Yeah, I'm gonna collect and study plants and other planets and shit. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> you had me there for a second. Mm -hmm. You're funny. I like a girl who can make me laugh. Do you have any other talents that I might like? All right, I drank some shitty piss water beer and talked to people, well, person. Can we go now? Actually, um, me and Court, we're gonna go off the trail for a little bit. <laughs> we're gonna go fuck in the river. <laughs> oh my god, the Mississippi <laughs> is dirty enough as it is. Can't you guys show it some mercy? I, I took a shower this morning. <laughs> we're only gonna be gone for a little bit. We're just gonna be like, like just right down there. Yeah. If we're not back in like 20 minutes, then come find us. Yeah. So you're gonna make me witness this shit with my own eyes too? That's fantastic. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go with me. <laughs> Allie, come on. Allie. Allie. Allie, let's go. Allie. Allie, let's go! Allie! God damn it.
Whoa, whoa, oh. hey, this is a pleasant surprise. I thought you left a while ago. Yeah, well, Allie had other plans, I guess, and since she's my ride, it's either find her or walk home. And I'm thinking of saying to hell with it and choosing the latter. Excuse me. Just what the fuck do you think you're doing? Hey, I didn't mean anything by it. I just thought that since we happened to run into each other again, that maybe we could pick up where we left off. Just having a good time. Well, if you want to have a good time, why don't you go home and use that hand on yourself? That's funny. I told you how I like funny girls. Let go of me! And you're good at pretending too. Pretending you don't want this. I know that deep down you really do. I said let go! Kara, you are making this so much harder than it has to be. We both know where this is going. I just want you to take a second and think. Think about how much easier this whole thing will be if you just say yes. Go to hell! <laughs> I like a girl who can make me laugh. I used to feel like I could handle anything. I had this fearlessness about me. I felt in control, I felt empowered kind of thing you don't really think about consciously. It's just there, driving everything you do, every action, every choice you make. It's just the way you are. You take it for granted. It's like breathing or something. You don't really think about it until something or someone it's taking it away from you. Suffocating you. After that, all you can do, all you care about, is trying to get it back, this part of you that was stolen. I've been trying for over a year now, but It's still there, the fear, the feeling of someone slowly creeping up behind me, breathing down my neck, preparing to put his hands on me. When I sense a random person on the street approaching from behind, to me it's, it's not a random person. It's him. If there's one thing I've managed to hold on to, it's my brutal honesty. And I'll be brutally honest here now and say that I'm only coming to this group because my doctor all but insisted. 
And I may not have a wall full of framed degrees like he does, but in my opinion, there's talking and there's doing. And I can sit here and talk about this all day. But who's gonna help me do something about this? Thank you, Kara, for sharing all of that with us. I especially appreciate your vivid analogy regarding breathing, suffocating, and such. I myself have asthma, so I found that to be particularly relatable. Uh, this is a very challenging situation, but we're here to help and support you any way we can. Would you like a cookie? Uh, just tidying up a little bit. Oh, all this fun without me? <laughs> you know it. Well, I'm heading out, so you'll be asleep when I get back, and I'll be asleep when you wake up. So I guess I'll see you sometime. <laughs> sometime on the dot. <laughs> sometime on the dot, got it. Love you. Love you too. Hey, it's me. Yeah, she just left. Okay. Park at the end of the street and walk up. Nice place. I take it things are going well with the family business if you've got the money to buy in this market. Look, I know how weird this whole thing is. It took weeks for me to work up the courage to look you up and get in touch, but 
I knew I had to do it in order to clear the air for good. After what happened, me getting the police involved, I know it came really close to fucking things up for you pretty badly. And I wanted to apologize. Well, you know what they say. Water under the bridge, focus on the future, all that shit, right? Future? I've been thinking about the future. Wondering if we have one. Say what? You were right. That day at the beach, I wanted it. Maybe I didn't know it at the time, but my God, I wanted it. I still do. I know you have a woman in your life already. Do you think you have room for another? I've got more than enough room. There's just one thing. There's someone else who's interested. Either in joining us or in just having you all to herself. Though I think she'd prefer the latter. Who? My friend. Molly. Molly. I like it. Well, I can promise you, she's one of a kind. Can I give her your number? Sure. By all means. Christ. How is it that in just one year you went from being such a stuck up tight ass to whatever it is you are now? A lot can happen in a year. This won't ruin things between you and Amanda. Not if she doesn't find out. Her and I, it's more about looking normal than actually being normal. I see. Can I take your glass? Hello? Is this Brett? This is Brett. Now, let me guess. Am I talking to Molly? You are. Well, Molly, it's a pleasure. Although, not as much pleasure as I think you and I are in for later on. That is, if what Kara told me about you is true. And what did Kara tell you about me? Enough. Just enough. She's a cryptic one, that Kara. Tease, too. Christ, she can tease with the best of them. Nothing I can't handle, though. I've handled her before, real well. So what did she tell you? The short version? You'd be the best fuck I've had in a long, long time. I'd like to find out just how right she is about that. She left a lot to the imagination. I told her not to say too much. I didn't want her to ruin the surprise. And what surprise might that be? You'll find out when you meet me. <laughs> you were teased just like your friend. I like it. Just know that you can't tease me forever. I get impatient. Yes. Kara told me all about how impatient you get. She did, did she? Mm-hmm. What else did she tell you? Well, you don't take no for an answer. I don't either. See, we're already finding things in common. I see what's going on. That's cute. Really cute. You got me, girls. 
Kara, Molly, or whatever the fuck your real name is. Give yourselves a pat on the back, because you fooled me. We had to get your attention somehow, didn't we? To do what? So I can listen to you bitches whine about something that happened over a year ago? I've heard this shit before. The same bullshit that she wasted the police's time with. Same bullshit that almost had some serious repercussions for me. For my life. And all because your friend had a case of buyer's remorse. She wanted it. She was practically begging for it. And she got it. Ain't my fault she changed her mind after the fact. That's what happens when you're an uptight, fickle bitch. Perhaps she was just disappointed in the quality of the product. <laughs> get fucked. We seem to not be on the same page about things. I would suggest we get together and discuss. Over drinks at your place, perhaps? Are you deaf, bitch? I said get fucked. You can tell Kara to do the same. Brett? Think about how much easier this will all be if you just say yes. What I'm thinking about is finding out where you live and giving that little mouth of yours a timeout with my fucking fist. I know how to deal with little girls who won't keep quiet. And I know how to deal with little boys who can't keep their hands to themselves. What would Amanda think of that if she knew about them? The other girls you've handled? And your pox filled with their hair? I can't wait to meet you, Brett. I think you and I are going to have a wonderful time. Yeah, and just what the fuck makes you think that's gonna happen? Kara asked you if you wanted to meet. You said yes. You can't take it back now, Brett. That would be rude. Besides, I'm already on my way. I'll see you soon. Are you okay? Why are you still up? It's after two. Um, I'm fine. I just had to run to the store quick. The store? What for? Hi, this is Kara. I can't answer your call at the moment, so just leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, later. Kara? You fucking bitch. What, you're just gonna ignore me now? Listen to me. You better tell your little friend in the Halloween costume to knock it the fuck off before somebody gets hurt, all right? You're screwing with the wrong guy here. You understand me? Quit this shit, or you're both gonna be sorry. Is it funny? <laughs> they say the snow should melt by tomorrow morning. Okay, great. Nice to meet you it should be 50s the rest of the week. Mm.
I got no sheets for our bed. All right. Where did you get that? Sitting in the middle of our bed. I guess right where you wanted me to find it. For whatever sick fucking reason. I did not do any of that. Thing. Are you trying to show off, Brett? Am I supposed to be proud of you? Proud of all your trophies? Is that what these are? Kara. That's the girl you said made up the story about you raping her. Was she telling the truth? And you're the one who's been lying this whole time. If this story is true, I don't even want to think about the stories of the others. Melissa. Danielle. Nicole. Allison! You're sick! Becky! Where are you going? I'm leaving! And I'm taking this to the police!
Hello. Very, very, very naughty, Brad. I didn't expect this. Not even from you. Yeah, well, shouldn't have gone and fucked with my private belongings. That was you who left the box out for Amanda to find, wasn't it? I don't know how you did it, and I don't really care, but her blood is on your hands. Clearly, you still have a problem accepting responsibility for your actions. We'll fix that soon. Does tonight work? Your place over drinks? Go to hell. You know, that's really unsafe. What? Not wearing your seatbelt. Hi, Brett. What the fuck are you doing here? I got your message. I figured I'd show up in person and bring my friend. All three of us together in the bedroom. Isn't that what you wanted? Molly's no ordinary friend. I suppose you figure that out by now. See, I didn't find Molly. She found me. Right when I needed her the most. All I had to do was accept her offer of friendship. The ritual was surprisingly easy, even for a first-timer like myself. The note explained everything. <laughs> Light a few candles, recite a few passages, pretty standard stuff. Then I just needed to give her a target. Blood from a cut, hair from your head, or saliva from the rim of a glass. And that's it. Call it witchcraft, call it voodoo, whatever. All that matters is that I finally got the help that this world alone wouldn't provide. The help I needed to make things right. What do you want from me? Oh, no, we don't want anything from you. No, we want to give you something back. All the pain, the anguish, the terror you've inflicted on others, you'll experience it all. All at once. She's here. Think about how much easier this will all be if 
if you just say yes. It's Kara. Yeah, I got your voicemail. It's perfect timing, actually. I've been thinking about giving you a call. Do you want to get together sometime? Maybe talk over drinks? That sounds great. Uh, oh, one other thing. Do you mind if I bring another friend? I think you'll like her. I'm sure she'll like you. <laughs> 